Uh, this is part four of those that are interested in getting into the reefer division portion of trucking. It's your man right here, the one only, that beautiful Rhode Island Red Rooster. And this right here is your fuel tank, which is on your reefer unit and stuff. And uh, as, I was, as I was explaining is that if you're purchasing fuel, <clears throat> it would be a good idea and stuff, you know, to shut your reefer unit off. And, you know, you just take your cap off and stuff and um, fill it up with fuel. Uh, a good idea, again, is to make sure that it doesn't fall under a quarter tank. So if you have any kind of trash inside your system, that it doesn't get sucked up into your reefing unit itself. You know, so that it continues to maintain properly. Well, it continues to run properly. Okay, and uh, uh, that right there pretty much kind of concludes, you know, the, the, the little small, you know, some of the things to look for and stuff. I mean, you know, if you're thinking about getting into the reefer division portion of uh, trucking, you know, it's, it's, uh, it's a system that requires a lot of, uh, it, it's a system that requires attention, you know, it requires attention and stuff like that. But, you know, the more you stay in it, the more you'll get a better understanding about it and stuff. You know, it's not, you know, you, you just get over that hump of learning. And once you got it down pack and stuff, you know, it's just like anything else that you do in this industry. Uh, I enjoy it. I've been doing it for, uh, I've been doing uh, reefing unit and stuff, man, for over seven years. Uh, I've been in trucking uh, 15 years collectively, but uh, I've been doing reefing unit for seven years and stuff. You know, this is something I always wanted to do. I enjoy doing it. Um, it's it has it, you know, it has its up and downs, just like anything else and stuff inside the industry. It's not, you know, to clear some of the myths up about. Um, you know, running a reefer unit is that, you know, yeah, the appointment times and stuff, they're pretty tough and they're pretty strict, but you know, that's just like anything else that you do, you know, flatbed, dry van, tankers, um, anything that you do in the industry, you know, you're going to have some customers that are going to be first come first serve. You're going to have some that are appointment based. Um, you know, the loading times and stuff is, again, based upon what customer you decide to go to. You know, like, um, here, I'm here at this specific customer um, out here in Long Island. You know, I do I do freight out of these guys all the time. And so, you know, it's it's um, sometimes the stuff I could be in and out of here and stuff in about 30 minutes. Sometimes, you know, it takes a little bit longer. But, you know, that's just uh, a lot of the customers and stuff that I serve, you know. Um, some are going to, you know, some are going to hold you a little bit longer than others and stuff. And so, you know, once you get a feel of it, it's not that every load that you pull, you know, uh, regarding refrigerating and stuff, man, it's going to require you to be at places for long periods of time. But, you know, once you get an understanding about the customers that you serve, you know, like if you go to grocery distribution warehouses and stuff, then you know that they're going to be loaded long, um, they're going to be longer unload times as opposed to um, some customers and stuff, you know, that um, <clears throat> some customers that I go to, you know, that are, you know, a lot smaller and everything, you know, they, you know, they have you in and out of this stuff, man, in about 15, 20 minutes, you know, so it's just understanding your customer base that you serve and stuff, you know, if you like the guys and stuff like that, then, you know, you tend to find out and stuff, they um, tend to find out that schedule that they have. And then, you know, it's just simply going over there and picking it up and stuff. And then, you know, you, you'll uh, be a, you'll be a preferred, you know, you'll be a preferred customer. I mean, a preferred um, driver, you know, which means that, you know, when they get, when they get loads and stuff to come out, they're hoping that you're the guy that goes over there and pick up their freight and, and get it over there to them, you know? So, um, like I said, refrigerator is not like, it's, it's, it's just like anything else I in the trucking industry. You know, it's not 
always uh, sunshine and roses and stuff like that. But for the most part and stuff, I mean, it, it's, you know, uh, it, it's very good business. You know, if you, you know, it, it's like I said, it requires a little bit more attention than, you know, say someone that does um, drive in because, you know, you have perishable freight back there, which means you have to maintain the temperature on the trailer, which requires you, you know, to get back there and look and make sure that, um, you know, that the temperature is being maintained and stuff. Um, but once you get the swing of it and stuff, man, it just becomes second nature. You know, like, hey, we're going to pull over and stuff and see that the temperature is being maintained and stuff like that. You know, the reefer is, is doing what it's supposed to do. Um, I guess I'll end my video there and stuff. Uh, if you want to go more detail and stuff about getting into the reefer division of trucking, uh, you can contact me directly. My information and stuff is on my page and stuff. Again, I say that if you do contact me, let it be about the industry and I'll help you as much as I can. And uh, subscribe to my, well, send me a friend request on my Facebook page, which is uh, Red Rooster. Red like the color. Rooster like the bird. Uh, send me that friend request up there and stuff, and I'll go ahead and accept, uh, I'll go ahead and accept it. You know, I have uh, trucking information on that page, too, and stuff. Uh, also, subscribe to my channel where <clears throat> I'm uploading information and stuff about the trucking industry and stuff that can be very helpful, you know, in you making the decision and the transition into this industry. So with that being said, this is your man right here, the one and only, that beautiful Rhode Island Red Rooster, telling you, as always, continue your research, fact-finding studies, harness on your skills every day. Till next time we talk, next time we meet. Be safe, be easy, and peace out.